something that nobody prepares you for when planning to have a toilet in your van is that should your insulation be thin enough, the weather cold enough, and you leave it long enough, the contents of your toilet, they'll freeze. Here trying to finally empty the toilet. The jerry cans, they've been frozen for the past few days, uh, so I was unable to get everything out of them. But it's been warmer today, it's been in like the mid 50s, so hopefully everything has melted. We can get it all emptied, cleaned, bleached, put it away, move on with our lives. Got it all out, just letting some bleach sit in there now. Uh, we'll empty the tank, and then the other two jerry cans there. Just for the record, uh, we only went number one uh, in the toilet during this trip. So uh, while we do plan, uh, when the build is finished, to be able to go number two in it when we have to. Uh, we did our best this time not to, if we could avoid it. So we uh, only had liquids to get out of here today. Another thing too, if you're thinking about getting the Tetford uh, toilet, I'd highly recommend getting this base plate. They are sold separately. Uh, this is sold uh, as being for the curve, which is this. Uh, so if you search for curve mounting bracket, you'll find something like that. Amazon has it, and it's super easy uh, to install. Just a couple of screws, and yeah, keeps your toilet from sliding all around. So, all right, gonna get back to it. Okay, so all we have left uh, is this final jerry can. Everything else is empty. And man, let me tell you, this tool to open these uh, military style jerry cans is an absolute lifesaver. It's got uh, different size openings to be used for the breather tube and the small cap uh, and the large cap. Uh, really, really helpful, especially if you've been through a temperature change and now it's really stuck on there. It's so easy using this. So highly recommend it. You can get them at military surplus stores. Oh, we're on Amazon. They're like twenty dollars on Amazon. Less than half of that uh, at a surplus store. So, something to consider. Just giving it a 
quick finishing touch. I'm going to leave that hole and that uncovered so it does not get moldy. Excellent. So we'll bring these up the deck, leave them with the lids off so that they can fully dry. And that's that. All right, that's it. Emptying a frozen toilet. At the key, wait till it warms up and then bleach the heck out of it until that smell goes away. But that's it. I hope you got something out of this video. If you have a Tetford, definitely something to consider uh, or a similarly styled toilet that has just the tank on the bottom and you're not composting, it might freeze. So something to think about. Uh, definitely a wake up call for us though. Hopefully uh, this toilet will spend most of its time only in a warm environment. That's the goal anyway. So. All right, until the next time then, uh, appreciate you watching. Please consider subscribing. We'll see you soon.